VO2 max doesn't matter for elite marathon performance. Here's why. I've known for a while now that in elite runners, a higher VO2 max doesn't lead to a faster marathon time. Even in breaking two, Kipchoge didn't have the highest VO2 max of the athletes tested. Just because your sustainable marathon pace is actually predicted by a ton of other factors outside of just VO2 max. Your velocity at VO2 max actually occurs at a much higher speed than your marathon pace. Therefore, your second threshold pace, which sits much closer to your marathon pace, is probably a better indicator. Also, your running economy or efficient at your marathon pace is actually probably more important as well. In fact, we have a ton of examples with elite marathoners with lower VO2 maxes, but faster marathon times than counterparts with higher VO2 maxes. Because despite the lower VO2 max, they're actually more efficient or consume less oxygen to run at their marathon pace, which sits a bit below that VO2 max. A high VO2 max is probably gonna give you the physiological basis to be a good marathon runner. But it's probably not as important as you think, and once you get to a higher level of training, you need to focus on things like your running economy and marathon.